Hello, my name is Elsa. I live in a 13 foot scamp trailer and today I'm gonna to show you what I ate throughout the day. Start my morning with dates. I freaking love dates. I've been able to buy them in bulk here in Arizona and I cannot get enough of them. They're really sweet, kind of like a giant raisin, but sweeter. I cut them in half, take out the pit, and then I put some almond butter on them. So good. And then for a little protein and omega-3s, I sprinkle on some chia seeds. Then I top each of those with a slice of banana. And I'm telling you, this is so good. <laughs> Next, I drank some greens powder from Baron's Cousin Amber. You can find a link to this down below if you're interested. We love greens powder to supplement the nutrients we might be missing when we're traveling or can't get into town for greens. It's got spirulina, alfalfa, barley grass, wheatgrass, spinach, kale, and all kinds of other nutrients. My morning meditative ritual is making cowboy coffee. I use this little pocket rocket butane stove mostly for water boiling inside. Cowboy coffee is a camping style of coffee making that requires the least amount of trash, tools, and effort. I bring my water close to boiling, add a few tablespoons of coffee, and let it sit for four minutes. Then I pour it through a strainer and into my mug. What happens is the boiling water makes the coffee grounds sink to the bottom. You're supposed to pour cold water on top to make them all sink, but here in the desert my water is pretty room temperature, so I skip that step and the strainer works just fine. Now I'm gonna let Baron show you how he made his daily peanut butter sandwich. Dave's bread is the best bread. I'm eating both the heels because Elsa won't eat them and we only have two other pieces left. I'll make the sacrifice, it's okay. Peanut butter, lots of peanut butter because calories. This almond butter we also got at the store that had like out of date food. I think it was like $4 and this is normally like a $15 can of almond butter. By the way, the store he's talking about here is a little shop inside of a giant flea market that we found in the middle of the desert. It's run by a grocery store liquidator that buys beat up or recently expired foods and sells them for cheap. And this little shop happened to have a lot of organic health foods so we stocked up. Some flax seed, because I heard that it's good for you. And some chia. We got these and the flax from that expired food store too. And then seal it all in with some honey. Oh yeah. Oh. Pretty fire. I knew it would be. Later in the day, I also made a sandwich. I spread some ghee on my bread. Ghee is non-dairy butter, and it's really nice because it doesn't have to be refrigerated. I cut a tomato and an avocado, and added salt, pepper, cayenne, and a little bit of lime. Then spread some of my homemade hummus all over my toast. Put on the avocado, the tomato, and top that with sunflower and pumpkin seeds. I added some more pepper and some nutritional yeast and then topped that sandwich and it was freaking incredible. We drink a good amount of water every day and something that helps me remember to do so and makes it a little more enjoyable is to squirt some lime or lemon into my water. I think that's good for making your body more alkaline too. It tastes really good. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> what did we get? We got carrots. Oranges, peppers for hummus, a lemon. Look at all those warm colors. Colors. The colors. More Dave's bread because it's the best bread. And Tono Clippers for you. <laughs> we are gonna go on a walk to the water.
it in your face. That's what happens when you do that. You're crazy. <laughs> chop up whatever veggies we have laying around and put them into the salad. Today was tomato, shallot, and bell pepper. To make the dressing, I used the rest of my homemade hummus, some olive oil, a good squeeze of lemon, and three caps of apple cider vinegar. And then I gave that a stir. Then I add some salt, cayenne, pepper, and stir it all up. The kale I'm using is dinosaur kale, and I cut off the stem by folding each leaf in half and cut it out. Then chop up all the leaves into little pieces. I massage the kale so it's tender and easier to chew, and makes it easier for my body to assimilate. I add all the ingredients to the bowl, stir it around, and then we eat. Mmm. Yeah, that's really good. Mm-hmm. having one more date for dessert. It's about 6.30 right now, and it's time to go to bed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.